One of the new types of installations that can be designed in install system 5 are heating and cooling ceilings. By marking the appropriate scope of the project, the structural and operating parameters of the surface installation can be determined for one of three priorities, heating, heating with calculation of cooling capacity or cooling. Ceilings are placed in the project by inserting the heating and cooling ceiling zone, after importing the story plan, creating rooms and determining the design heat low. After indicating the dividing directions and performing calculations, the zone is automatically divided into an appropriate number of loops, taking into account the defined maximum length and maximum pressure loss. The program also automatically draws loops with the specified pipe spacing. Depending on how the distribution system is arranged, the manifold can be connected to the zones using the pipe feeds route tool or by directly laying the pipe feeds from the manifold to each heating and cooling loop. In the presented example the manifolds were placed on the story above. From the manifold, through the risers, the pipe feeds are led to the ceilings below. The installation project can end on manifolds, with the use of virtual elements created by the program. It is also possible to arrange the whole installation by inserting risers, boiler or other heat source, and pipe runs with the necessary fittings. Finally, after completing the installation and performing the calculations, complete drawings are created with the calculation results presented in the drawings. And in tables of results. A list of components required for the installation is also created. The tables of results can be printed or exported to one of the available formats, for example PDF or XLS. The drawings, upon configuring and supplementing, for example with cross-sectional drawings of the heating and cooling ceiling structure, can also be exported to the DWG format.
The Radiant systems designed for heating and cooling are complemented by prefabricated wall and ceiling panels. If the ceiling panels are to evenly fill the entire ceiling area or a part of it, the new zone of ceiling panels tool will be useful. The zone will be automatically filled with panels using panel sizes taken from the catalog, taking into account additional guidelines. Once the panels have been arranged, a preliminary calculation can be made to verify that the heat demand of the room is met. After verifying that the given arrangement of panels and adopted operating parameters provide the required heating or cooling capacity, the distribution system can be drawn in the next step. Using the Connect in Series function, the panels can be promptly combined into sets. These sets then have to be connected to the distribution system. This operation is facilitated by the automatically connect terminal units function, which automatically connects the panels to the distribution system after indicating the supply pipe run and the appropriate panels. The program allows to accomplish all possible ways of medium distribution, with the manifold, in Tichelman arrangement or mixed. As part of the calculations, the program, among other things, determines the flow rates to obtain the required output from the panel system, balances the installation hydraulically and creates a bill of materials. A special type of ceiling panels are suspended steel radiators designed for large facilities. Based on the manufacturer's guidelines, with help of the zone of ceiling panels tool, the program automatically fills up, for example a large commercial building, with a series of radiant panels. In addition to the panels, the list also includes the mounting elements and fittings needed to connect the panels in series. Instead of, or as a complement to ceiling panels, wall panels can also be used, including those mounted in inclined partitions. As the laying of pipe runs is under full control, it is also possible to arrange the distribution system in inclined partitions. Other editing possibilities and the scope of calculations are similar to those for ceiling panels.
Integration of all calculating modules in one application enables taking full advantage of such devices as flat stations. After the station has been inserted, connected to the supply system and to the heating system in the apartment, it is possible to size the supply system and determine its parameters without the need to draw also the water supply system. In this design mode, the data necessary to size the installation, mainly the required water heating degree and hot water flow rate, are specified by the user. As an alternative, if the package also includes the water supply module, it is possible to arrange the water supply installation and connect it to the flat station and to include in the calculations the flow rates calculated by the water supply module. If the building is to have the same or similar architectural and installation layout on subsequent stories, the entire story can be copied. When the stories are copied, the risers are automatically extended so that the integrity of the whole installation is maintained. As part of the calculations, the program verifies whether, for the given operating parameters, the heat exchanger installed in the station is able to provide the required output. In addition, the flow rates, pipe diameters and the source output in the supply system are determined, taking into account non-simultaneous operation of the station in tap water heating mode. In addition to the stations themselves, the bill of materials includes all optional accessories such as cabinet, heat meter, filter, etc.